Hi my loves, welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard, which I honestly um, tried to get away from, but God brought it right back up. So here we are. The message is when I'm at home, I'll be cheesy. When I'm alone, I'll be sleazy. The scripture comes from Esther 3 and 14. A copy of the decree to the to be promulgated as law in every province was published to all the peoples that they might be prepared for that day. The couriers set out in haste at the king's command. Meanwhile, the decree was promulgated in the stronghold of Susa. The king and Haman then sat down to feast, but the city of Susa was thrown into confusion. Okay, so this was a decree that was against, this was a decree that was sent in the letters of Haman. Um, and in reality, I feel like uh, what God is meaning this by is for somebody, you are with somebody and this person is cheating and they are cheating habitually and um right now you are kind of i feel like you're in the dark because when they're with you they with you like i, I even remember uh hearing this before okay somebody say that it uh that's how their relationship like like it's a relationship where in their mind, okay, I feel like you're blind to this, but in their mind, it's a situation where if they're with you, they're with you, but when they're not with you, they're single. And God is saying that he is going to bring this to your ears. He's going to bring this to the light. Um, this is something that is starting to become gossip, okay? Um, people are starting to gossip about it. People are going to continue carrying it on until it reaches your ears. And when it reaches your ears, it's not to say that it's going to be something that is going to um, make you happy. Because it says here, the city of Susa was thrown into confusion. Um, it is going to make you confused. Um, well, it would make you confused if you didn't hear this message. But it would, it would make you confused because they do such a good job at pretending like they aren't doing anything they are doing a very good job at keeping other people from bringing what they're doing to your attention but god is saying that eventually the tables are going to turn and god is going to put it up on the heart of these people regardless if he put it up on their heart out of them um saying oh well they they seem like such a good couple. They seem like everything is good. They seem like they're happy. But in reality, he's doing all of this or she's doing all of this. And she got this guy, that guy, and that guy. Or he got this girl, that girl, and that girl. And it's going to just start circulate, circulating. It's going to circulate quietly until God puts it up on somebody's heart to whisper it in your ear. And it may even be a situation where you don't even know this person. And they don't know that they're talking about you. Um, I'm being reminded of this time when I was in high school, me and my friends were standing outside the cafeteria in the courtyard area, and my friends were talking, 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 like they were gossiping so bad about this little girl. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, but they was, they like, baby, they was going in on this girl. And I'm just looking, like, I hear what they said, but I'm looking because I noticed that her mother was standing a few feet away from us, and she was listening to what they were saying. She kept looking back, and she, like, she did it in such a sneak way, and I could tell that it was kind of in a, okay, like, and I, I like, she was just listening, and I was like, I don't know if this lady is about to turn around and start going off on my friends, or if the girl that they were talking about would end up in trouble because of the things that they were saying about her. And I turned to them, and I was like, y'all really need to stop talking about this girl like that because her mama's standing right there. And then they all walked away, and they scattered. 
<laughs> but in reality, I just feel like, um, that's not funny. But anyways, it's kind of a situation where, um, the person that spills the beans to you is not even going to know that they're talking about you. They're going to think you somebody else. It may be a situation where you're not with this person, or it may be a situation where they heard it from somebody else, or they, like, it, it's just... Like, it's something that's going around. Like, it's going around. It's going, it's the, it's the talk. It's like the talk of the street. It's very, it's, it's hot gossip. Um, and it is going to eventually reach your ears. You know, God says what's done in the dark will always come to the light, no matter how hard somebody try to hide it, no matter how busy somebody is. And in reality, I feel like um, for whomever this is for, you have a feeling. Like, you have a feeling, you have a feeling, you have a feeling, but you can't put your finger on where it's coming from and you're trying to figure out you like you're, you're trying to figure out okay okay like you like you feel it and god is saying that he is nudging you and eventually what is done in the dark you are going to find out and you're going to find out from somebody that you don't even know somebody that doesn't even know you and um you know i feel like Part of why God is sending this message is so that, first of all, you won't be confused and you'll know what's going on. And second of all, you won't be so hurt because um, it is very hurtful to be dedicated to someone solely and they are not dedicated to you. And, you know, I just feel like um, regardless if this person you know in their mind or in their heart they feel like they care about you you know in reality they don't because it's very it's way more hurtful for somebody else to tell you what your person is doing than for um them to just tell you straight up that this is what they want and you know i don't know why people do that they know they don't want to be in a relationship with just one person they know that they can't remain faithful and they insist on getting in relationships that to be with someone that they know is not going to stand to be cheated on. And, um, you know, God is just saying that this person, they like on one side, it's kind of like on one side, they want somebody that's going to be a wife or a husband. And on the other side, they want to be able to experiment and be promiscuous. And they want to be able to do and try everybody. And they want that, um, that uh intimacy only type vibe relationship as well they want to they want they want everything they want they want their cake and they want to eat it too long story short and you know god is saying that he is not supportive of this person doing you this way you know and um i've had men in the comments get um you know complain about how there are cases in the Bible where a man has multiple wives or, um, and different things like that. And that may be true, but the key point is, like I just said, it's a difference between you telling somebody straight up when y'all first start dating, when y'all first get in a relationship, I cannot be with just one person. I can't do it. And if you can't get with that, then we can't be together, okay? I want multiple wives. I want multiple people. And somebody that says, you know what? I'm going to change for you, and I'm just going to be with you. You're enough for me. I love you. And I, I would never, you know, it's, a, it's completely different. Then they turn around, and they're not even keeping their promise, you know? <sighs> That's the message, y'all, okay? God is saying to be... um. Be ready to hear that news. And he doesn't want that news to confuse you. Um, God also doesn't want you to feel as though he led you astray or he led you the wrong way. You know, um, sometimes you could feel like God told you that this person was your spouse and you would, you know, why Why is this person doing this to me? Why is this person hurting me? God sent me to this person. God gave me to this person. Um, God told me this person was for me. And, you know, um, God is saying that we all have free will. And this, just as this person had free will to accept you and to um, be grateful to God for you and to cherish you and love you forever. They also have the free will to um, be happy and, you know, 
ungrateful. I was about to say grateful, but God said, no, they're ungrateful about the gift that God gave to them and, you know, be selfish and to also be, um, God is saying arrogant in a sense, because it is very arrogant to think that you are going to be able to go out and cheat with multiple people and your person never find out, you know, they're also, they're being very arrogant. They're being very selfish. They're being very prideful. They're being very lustful. They're, they're, um, they are being very, um, rebellious to what God has asked them to do, but they got free will to do that. They have free will. God says they have made their choice. They choose what they want to do. They made that choice. And, you know, you don't have to feel as though you did something wrong. And, you know, it's making me so emotional. Like, you don't have to feel like you did something wrong or that there's something wrong with you. And y'all know I've been through this before um, where I had to endure someone that was habitually cheating on me. And it hurt so bad, you know. And it made me feel like, um, you know, like, what's wrong with me? Why? What is so bad about me? What's wrong with me that you can't just, like, I'm right here. Why do you have to go out and cheat on me? You know, it's a very hurtful thing. And, you know, um, y'all already know when that ended, I was kind of like, um, not even open exactly to relationships i was scared of relationships after that relationship i was literally terrified to get into another relationship um because it hurt so bad um but you know god is saying that sometimes in life we do endure pain we do endure things that we did not want to go through we have to go through them and it's not because God doesn't love us. And it's not because God isn't watching over us. It's not because God, it's not because God is deliberately trying to punish us for something. Um, sometimes it's a matter of changes, you know, things change. Okay. Like the re not to say the reality change, but just to say change. Like when we make a certain choice, it changes everything. And, you know, in the moment, the moment that someone decides to cheat, they had a choice. They could have chose to remain faithful and that would have brought upon a whole, a certain reality that would have brought upon a reality of um, love blossoming. That would have brought up a reality of them becoming closer to their someone that would bring us a reality of children and other things and just, you know, building together. But there's also a choice of that person choosing to cheat on their partner. This also brings a different reality that brings uh, about the reality of the relationship ending. That brings about the reality of um, their partner being heartbroken. It brings the reality of um, whoever they're cheating on their partner with possibly coming to attack their partner, their relationship, and possibly um, carrying on in such a way because they are involved with them and you know it also it just brings about so much destruction going that way regardless there are choices you know and um baby that's the message god is saying that um they chose to do this they chose to have an affair they chose to be with that person um don't believe no oh they they con me they tricked me they forced me it's not that like this is not that situation this is not that scenario and that's not to say that that could never be the case but i feel like for whom this is for it is not a situation where this person was um being forced to cheat on you it's not a situation where they had no choice it's not a situation where um like uh I'm hearing like that somebody could possibly say that if they wouldn't have done that, that this person would have tried to attack you. Okay. In reality, um, either they should have protected you or you can protect yourself or they should have looked to God, not, um, dabbled in sin, you know, but in reality, that's not the case. That is not the case. That is not the case. That is not the case. It is utter nonsense. And I just feel like this person is going to try to bring confusion to you once you find out what they have been doing. In reality, 
they chose to do what they did. They chose to do what they did. They chose to do what they chose. They chose, they chose, they chose, they chose. God said they chose to do that thing. They chose. That's what they wanted to do. That's what they wanted to do. It's not that you haven't been doing um, anything. You haven't done anything wrong. As far as you being a partner, as far as you loving them, as far as you being there for them, encouraging them, I feel like God is saying that you have been, um, you have surpassed the expectation of what you should be. And out of their own selfish reasons, they decided to hurt you. But God wants you to come to him and to cling to him and not to allow that hurt and that pain to allow you to become cold because it hurt. And I know it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts so bad. And God is saying he does not want that pain to cause you to turn away from him and start to partake in sin. God does not want you to believe that, you know, that God does not want you to turn away from him and go on a downward spiral. And, um, yeah. Heavenly Father, I pray that whomever this message is for, that you will touch them right now, that you will comfort them. At the time that they receive this message, Lord, I pray that you will be with them. I pray that you will keep your angels surrounding them, Lord. I pray that you cast out any evil trying to come towards them to hurt them, Lord. I pray that you will protect them from harm. I pray that any evil thoughts that try to come into their mind, that you will cast it away, Lord. I, I, I bled the blood of Jesus over this person. God, if they see me now, I have more. I shall by God so feel now, yeah. I live in the in jesus name i pray amen i love you um to whomever this is for if you want to talk to somebody you can't email me sometimes i'm not as quick as possible with my emails but i will reply Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I love you and God loves you. Deuces.